All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The Cleveland Browns, Joe Flacco resurrected. One of the craziest storylines in the NFL, obviously, this season, but of recent memory here, Coach Kevin Stefanski probably going to win Coach of the Year. They're starting their fifth quarterback of the season tomorrow uh, in Week 18. They're locked in as the fifth seed. Nick Chubb got injured right away. Uh, this is so weird. It is so weird, and it just feels special. The Cleveland Browns this season just feel so special. And if you ask any Baltimore Ravens fan, the only team, literally the only team any Baltimore Ravens fan is worried about, AFC or NFC, is the Cleveland freaking Browns. And Joe Flacco is the starting quarterback. The dude's almost 40 years old. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. So tomorrow they will be playing week 18. The game literally doesn't matter. They're solidified as the fifth seed. They're resting so many players as they should because, you know, in my opinion, really only two things are an issue for me with Cleveland. And number one is health. But you can say that about every team in the National Football League at this point in the season. And uh, thankfully, this upcoming game does not matter in the slightest as far as the outcome goes. So health not really there and uh turnovers you know turnovers is literally the only thing i'm worried about but joe flacco the thing is eight interceptions but he's thrown for 323 yards per game it just comes down to you know if you're gonna throw an interception or two in the playoffs especially against a defense like the baltimore ravens and an offense like the baltimore ravens well that might come back to bite you but we have to remind ourselves that the Cleveland Browns defense is one of the best in the entire National Football League. They are top three. They're top five. You cannot put the Cleveland Browns defense statistically outside of the top five. You just can't do it. In fact, the Browns defense has allowed a scoring drive on just 23.8 of the time this season. That's by far the best in the National Football League. And they're getting these rookies, these young players. Obviously, you got Miles, you got Zedarius, you've got Denzel, you've got all these studs. Ronnie Hickman Jr. last week, the second or the highest graded safety in the NFL at 92.6 PFF grade. Uh, next man up mentality. Like I said, this just feels like a special season. So we're going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns, obviously, in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Trying to post a ton more Browns content on this channel. So if you could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So how can you not love this storyline? You know, and who would have nobody would have ever thought this storyline was ever going to happen at any point in the entire season or at any point in the past. Joe Flacco literally just resurrected and he has and here's the thing man the Cleveland Browns even though before Joe Flacco they had three different quarterbacks they were still winning football games like they're still de their defense is still their defense Amari Cooper he, literally Nick Chubb got injured in the second game of the season they're still 11 and 5 they were still an above 500 team they were still a team where it was like damn dude if they could just you know, whether it was Deshaun Watson getting healthy or if, you know, DTR or PJ Walker could just do enough, which I mean, even though interceptions were an issue, they they did enough to keep this team in the swing of things, because once again, they're literally 11 and five. And Joe Flacco has done a phenomenal job, but he's only played five football games. So they're still a really solid team. They are on a four game winning streak. And as the fifth seed, you have to feel really good about your first round in the playoffs. I mean, for example, two of the last four wins have came against Houston or Jacksonville. Uh, they dominated the AFC South all season. They did not lose to a team in the AFC South all season. So once again, it just feels like there's something in the air here. If you ask me, I really only see two potential outcomes in the AFC. More likely, and I know I shouldn't be saying this on a Browns video, but the team that's 13 and three at the time of this recording with Lamar Jackson, the MVP, their defense, they're well coached. I mean, the Baltimore Ravens really have it all going down. But let's say it was the AFC championship game and you've got the Cleveland Browns versus the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Browns fans would be feeling really good. Ravens fans would not. And the NFL is just genuinely scared of this. I mean, you literally ask any single Ravens fan, they are only worried about the Cleveland Browns. So some things I'm going to keep note of for the playoffs, and we still got a long ways away, long way to go before we, the Browns play a playoff game. We'll know more about their matchup in a day from now. Turnovers, 
turnovers in the defense, the run game, there's a lot to look at, but turnovers for me is first and foremost, because once you get into the playoffs and you're playing playoff teams, if you make a mistake, the other team's going to capitalize on it. Now, what does help me is once again, Joe Flacco's for throwing 323 yards per game. But another thing that really helps ease my mind is the defense because this defense can single-handedly win you football games so they're going to cause takeaways they're going to cause turnovers and if joe flacco can just keep it clean if the running back room no fumbles no interceptions if they can just keep it clean dominate the trenches offensively and defensively move the chains put some points on the board touchdowns not field goals i got my defense to rely on so it kind of just feels like the perfect storm here where you played five games, you threw eight interceptions, which isn't great, but I think the hope is here, you know, now you've had almost a month and a half to kind of ease into it. You've been practicing with the team, you've got five games under your belt, you're back, and things just feel great, just feels like this perfect storm right now. So some final points here. The Cleveland Browns defense is ranked number two in the National Football League, all right? Joe Flacco, has done this before. Joe Flacco, the elite quarterback with the Super Bowl ring, has done this before. And Coach Stefanski is Coach of the Year. I think Dan Campbell's done a phenomenal job. I think there are also some good candidates for Coach of the Year. But when you really break it down, I mean, P.J. Walker was playing. DTR was playing. The Deshaun Watson shoulder and, you know, the Deshaun Watson drama in general. Nick Chubb going down in the second game of the season. You don't want to play the Cleveland Browns right now. One thing I'm going to take, one thing I'm very curious about in the playoffs is going to be the run game, all right? Once again, Nick Chubb injured his second week of the season. But I've got Jerome Ford. I've got Kareem Hunt. Those are two running backs for me personally. Statistics just don't matter. You know, it feels like a very versatile, it is a very versatile running back room. Uh, but stats just don't matter for it. But we're at that point in the season where, you got to move the chains and you got to dominate the trenches on both sides of the football. So I'm very curious what their offense is going to look like. I guess you know, a lot of it depends on the first matchup of the playoffs and who you match up against in either game of the playoffs. Uh, but one thing I'm keeping an eye on is the running back room, because if Nick Chubb was here, I would probably actually just say the Cleveland Browns are going to the AFC championship game. But unfortunately, Nick Chubb is not here. Now, all things considered, the Cleveland Browns have done a phenomenal job running the football. Jerome Ford's got almost 1,000 yards. Kareem Hunt's Kareem Hunt. They're running for 120 yards per game. They're the 11th best rushing offense in the National Football League, despite only averaging 3.9 yards per carry. They're getting the job done on a week-to-week -week basis. So, I don't know, man. It just feels special. I know I can say that like 30 more times. It just feels like a special season. So let me know what you guys are thinking. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. If you want more Browns videos, let me know, let me know down below. But guys, how far is this Cleveland Browns team going in the play?